Well, where else to start but uh, say that Cameroon are through to the semi-finals, beating Gambia by two goals to nil. And it's all thanks to Lyon striker Carl Toko Ekambi. Our sports reporter James Asina was there at the Douala Stadium and he joins us now live. James, their tournament hosts, their strikers in Vincent Abubakar and now Carl Ekambi have 11 goals between them. Is it a stretch too far to say that the Indomitable Lions have cemented their place as favourites to win the tournament? Well, I think we're definitely getting a very clear picture of where things could be going. I mean, over here in Cameroon, people were very hopeful uh, right from the start. And really now that we're getting through to the semi-finals, it does seem uh, that this could be a possibility. When we talk uh, of the Cameroonians attacking side, uh, well, it all comes down uh, to those two men, Carl Toko Ikambi uh, and Vincent Abubakar. Five and six uh, goals to their name each. That's all of the goals for Cameroon in the, in the tournament so far. Uh, Abubakar the top scorer uh, in this edition uh, and really once again today we really saw that force again uh, that we've been seeing throughout uh, throughout the tournament throughout their games uh, and actually it was quite surprising right from the start uh, Cameroon were very very dominant uh, really pushing very very hard trying to get uh, that early goal uh, and actually they came very close to it but couldn't quite uh, Collins Fai uh, just uh, blasting a shot just missing there uh, and a header from Abubakar as well coming close but uh, it was the Gambia's uh, goal Goalkeeper Bubakar Gay, uh, who was really surprising, he stops a, a, a shot from very, very close range. That was in the 35th minute, uh, and at that point, it seems like perhaps you know the Gambia could manage to hold on uh, for, for this uh, at least until half time. They did that, uh, but after that, second half was a different story, uh, as you mentioned there. Carl Toko Ikombi opening uh, the score for them just a few minutes in, uh, and at that point, well, Tom Saint Feet, the uh, the Gambia's coach, made uh, some bold decisions tried to bring on some players, some more attacking players. Uh, but unfortunately for him, the, from the moment uh, they stepped onto the pitch, well, uh, Cameroon doubled that score with the man of the match uh, striking once again. So Cameroon uh, showing a, a show of force here and it was uh, totally in their favour and it's fair to say uh, that they were largely superior, much a much stronger team uh, than the Gambia uh, today. The, their head coach uh, told, us, uh, told us that this was clearly how he saw things uh, as well after the match. Uh, but for, for fans here, well, they are hoping that they will get through to the, to the final. We've been hearing it from the start. Uh, of course, they are the host nation and that is a massive advantage, but it's starting to look more and more possible. Uh, one of the fixtures that could come up uh, potentially in a final would be uh, to see him them face uh, face off against Senegal. Uh, should that happen, I think that will be a very interesting fixture uh, because we know the attacking potential from Senegal. We haven't really seen it yet, uh, but we do know that they've got a very strong defence. They're the only team uh, to have kept a clean sheet so far. Uh, but perhaps this duo up front uh, for uh, Cameroon could manage to break things. Who knows? Maybe this is the time. They're on home turf. They've got that advantage, but certainly uh, the whole country is behind them. James, a very frightening duo indeed if you're any defence. But of course that means that the dream is over for Gambia. Let's hear from head coach uh, Tom Senfiet after a whirlwind campaign. Uh, I'm disappointed that we go home because we love to stay here. We faced a strong, uh, I would not say 11, we faced a strong 40,015 uh, people. Uh, here today. It was very tough, but I'm very proud of my team. I think uh, our boys, a lot of young players, did everything what was possible. And for the first time uh, at the AFCON, uh, playing against the host, uh, seven points in the group stage, three points against uh, Guinea, now losing our first defeat, yeah, because sometimes we talk about minnows doing good on AFCON, but we are the only minnow who, who didn't lose till now. I would preferred not to lose, but it happens. But we end uh, after five games with 10 points. And I think we can be very proud. Well, what a dream it was, James. I want to come back to you. You actually got to go behind the scenes with that Gambian outfit. They were ranked the lowest team in the tournament coming into it. Uh, but really, they've raised the bar, surely, for those smaller teams in, uh, on the continent uh, for time to come. 
Yeah, absolutely. They've raised the bar, but also for themselves. Uh, speaking to the head coach just afterwards, uh, I asked him, you know, next time you come into this Africa Cup of Nations, it's gonna, you're, you're going to have to want to try and do at least uh, the same uh, as this year. And of course, uh, that is not an easy task to, for anyone uh, to do, getting through to the quarterfinals, being one of the best eight teams. Uh, it's not easy. And we've seen uh, many big teams uh, not manage to reach anywhere near that. Uh, Algeria, of course, Nigeria, a uh, bit getting ousted when we thought that they were really going to be one of the contenders to at least uh, get, perhaps, let's say, uh, to the semi-finals, if not further. Uh, and we've seen, in the same way as the Gambia, other teams cause these upsets. These smaller teams uh, who are taking part in, for the first time, the Comoros, uh, who exited uh, in the knockout stage, and that was against Cameroon, but in unfamiliar con uh, conditions, that's for sure. So who knows how far they could have gone. But what's for sure uh, is that these teams have shown uh, that there is potential. And for the other big teams, whilst maybe uh, these newcomers might not be able to make it through to the final, they definitely can cause an upset. Uh, and then the, the other teams need to watch out for them, need to look out for them and not take it uh, lightly. They know that it's a threat and they can see their journey get ended uh, earlier than possible, uh, earlier than they thought they, they would uh, due to these performances that we've seen by the Gambia uh, or Comoros. Thanks so much, James.